This is possibly the best AI image generator, even surpassing the ideogram, mid journey and flux on the leaderboard. And this AI tool is called Recraft AI. Well, this is their website and the interface looks very different from the other AI image generators. And to start with this tool, click on the new project and here is the interface. And to generate the images, you have to click on this image section and you will have this canvas that you can transform easily and accordingly. And from the left side panel, you can see we have different models. So this is the default model Recraft version 3, which is the raw model. And then we even have some stylization filters like photorealism, vector art. You can try the illustrations. You can try the photo studio. And these are different kind of stylized filters that you can use. But because we are testing the raw model, so I'm going to go with the Recraft version 3 raw model. But if you want to train this on your own style, you even have the option. Just click on this plus icon and you can upload some of the images and you can create your new style. And just for the information, I have already covered this AI tool on my channel about one and a half year ago. And at that time, I covered this tool as a text to vector generator. And at that point, this was the only tool that was offering the text to vectors. But after a year and a half, now this is the best AI image generator. So I'm happy that I have already covered this tool on my channel when no one was talking about this AI tool. So let's try this first prompt a cinematic still of a woman with expressive face and then we have some of the parameters where you can just control the aspect ratio so let's keep it around 16 ratio 9 and next we have the number of images but in a free plan you are only limited to the two images per generation so let's hit recraft all right so these are the output images and this is super realistic so this is the first image and if i zoom it in you can see the skin textures on her face and you can see the hair texture each and everything looks very very realistic and here's the second image from the same tool and you can see it follows the prompt very accurately the woman looks very expressive and it looks like a very cinematic shot but the best thing that i like about this tool is the skin texture just look at that the skin looks very realistic very very realistic and because this is free so we're going to compare this with its competitors like ideogram and flux 1.1 so here is the side by side comparison between these three tools and if we look at the ideogram image that looks very realistic very expressive but her eyes are too brown that doesn't look very natural but other than that the overall image looks very natural and if we talk about the flux 1.1 pro this is different from all of these tools and this one is also less realistic so you can see the skin is not very textured there is some kind of shininess to the skin and in this case i think ideogram and the recrafter performed really well now let's try this prompt a low quality instagram photo of a teenage man taking a mirror selfie and let's see what that gives us all right so this is the output from the recraft ai and it looks a very low quality and you know very old image and you can also notice this thing from the phone he's holding a very old phone and the surprising thing is that the fingers are accurate and if we look at the background it looks very unfocused and a very unprofessional and this thing gives it a look of uh, old image and in this one this guy is holding a camera instead of a phone but i think this one performed really well and if we compare this with the ideogram and the flux ai so this is the output from the flux and ideogram and in the ideogram image you can see it looks very professional it doesn't look like an old image and this thing is noticeable with the blur on the background and if we look at the flux image i think flux ai performed really well here you can see it looks very unprofessional and also old image you can see the door on the background is in the focus so in this case i would say recraft and flux ai performed really well but the ideogram image is just okay here now before moving forward many of you guys asked me in the comment section about the best ai tool to start the faceless youtube channel so let me introduce wondershare verbo our today's sponsor wondershare verbo is probably the best ai tool to start the faceless youtube channel yes i have already covered a detailed video on this tool and the results was amazing this ai tool offers you 300 plus lifelike avatars as you can see their gestures and the movement in this video And it offers 480 plus voices for 90 countries. It has the English, Chinese, Hindi, Urdu and probably every language that you can imagine. And for the script writing, you don't need ChatGPT because they have built in GPT-4. We will just type the idea of your video and it gives you the complete AI generated script. And if you type the scripts manually and English is not your native language, where you can type in any language and this will translate that into English. And we are not just limited here. They have the AI photo generator where you can generate some really cool stylized images. 
they have the AI voice cloning where you can train your own voice and one of their latest features are URL to video and AI clip generator. So inside of their URL to video you just need to put the link of your product and the AI will generate the full length video of your product with voiceover with its features images and videos and with their AI clip generator you can easily create the short form content from your long videos. So if you want to start any motivational shorts channel simply upload your video and the AI will automatically make the short form content out of it. So in short this is the one stop solution for every faceless YouTube channel. The link will be in the description below. Go ahead and check this out. And let's get back to our topic. Now let's try a difficult prompt. A woman showing her palms and soles of feet realistic. And let's see what it comes up with. Alright, so here are the output images from the recraft.ai and it nailed it. You can see the palms are clear, her hands are clear. You can also notice fingers on the hand, fingers on the feet. Each and everything is correct and here is this second image and in this one it also performed really really well yes her feet are looking dirty but other than that each and everything looks very perfect and believe me this is the most difficult prompt for every ai image generator i have seen the videos on the internet where people are trying this same prompt with different image generators and they all messed up but in this case it nailed it and if we compare this with the ideogram and the flex ai here is the side by side comparison and you can see uh, in the ideogram image it just messed up the woman is holding her feet i don't know her feet are broken or whatever it is it's a weird image and if we compare this with the flex 1.1 i ran this prompt multiple times in the flex 1.1 but i always ended up with the same palm images so in this case recrafter again is a clear winner and in fact also mid journey messed up with this prompt but recrafter ai performed really well now moving on to the next prompt and this one is going to be lengthier a man wearing a brown coat and red tie holding a board with text this is a new era of images standing on a busy street and let's see what that gives us all right so here is the output from the recrafter.ai and this is not bad this is a new era of images the text is correct he's uh, wearing a brown coat he is wearing a red tie He's standing on a busy street so it followed the prompt very accurately and if we look at the fingers closely this guy has four fingers yes it messed up with this finger a little bit but other than that overall the image looks very good and if we compare this with the other models like the ideogram and the flex 1.1 in ideogram uh, the man is holding a sign and you can also notice the text is perfect in this one he's wearing a brown coat wearing a red tie yes there is a slight issue you can notice there is some kind of stick or road behind his neck but other than that this is good and if we talk about the flex 1.1 this one is a very solid image the text is perfect this man looks very realistic so i think in this case i would like to give a slight edge to the flex 1.1 but other models also performed really well i don't have any complaints with this one yes there are some slight issues here and there but all of them performed really well okay so let's try a new prompt a woman with smiling face holding a handwritten note with text marry me all right so this is the first image from the recraft ai and this is super realistic look at the text look at the skin texture of the woman this is very impressive and one more thing that you will notice in this image we didn't mention the hard sign in the prompt but the ai understands the context of your words and it automatically added the hard sign so the image is very high quality and this is the second image and this one also worked very very well just look at the skin textures it looks like this is a real photo so if we compare this with the other models the ideogram image looks very professional you can see a lot of blur on the background that makes it look very professional and if we talk about the flux image i would say this is the least performer in all of them the text is good but the skin textures are messed up so in this one recrafter is a clear winner and these are a couple of more images generated by the community and generated with the recrafter.ai and you can imagine this is so much realistic and in my opinion it really deserves to be on the top of the leaderboard so recrafter ai gives you 50 free credits on a daily basis but if you want to earn more credits you can invite your friends if they sign up on their website you will get 200 credit so i will also leave my invitation link in the description so go sign up with that link and help me out to create more content for you and that's it from today i hope you learned something new and if you guys did do give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one